Now let's try to have an explanation of this question. What did he say here that you know there are seven people, they are going in a race having seven. So we have just kept the order. What is the order arrangement that seven people are running the race? So he told you P finished the race on the fourth position. This is very awesome and very straight away point. P finished on the fourth position. Am I right? That's good. What did he say you then? Last point is also very easy, you know. V, V for victory. Victory have finished the race on the last position. So this is V. That's good. So we have to read very carefully. I think you have got till here. There is no doubt in this thing. Abhi aage chalte hain aur dekhte hain what is this question is all about. Here, what did he say here? Only two persons are there between the race P and S and between the race P and V. Iska matlab ye hai, between P and V, there are two people. Are you understanding? Same fashion between P and S also there are two people. Means directly or indirectly, he is saying you the position of S is here. Directly or indirectly, he is saying you the position of S is here. Am I right? Chaliye. So we have taken three points and this is quite easier as of now. And what did he say here? You finish the race before P. You, in this running race, when they are running, you finish the race before P. Means U is not after P, U is before P, but is it immediately before P or it might be here that he has not told you. So I will not take this fourth point. Why? It is leading to confusion for you. So I am avoiding this point guys. Are you understanding? Now let's try to see here. What did it say here? There are two persons finish the race between Q and R. So there are two persons between the Q and R. Q and R might be here. Or else Q and R might be here. Or else Q may be here or R may be going up. Guys, we have no idea. Simply, I am avoiding this fifth point also. So, whatever the easy points were there, very straight away points, those points we have kept in this race. Now, let's see what happens. Look, one point is a very logical point. What is this point? Just read this point here. TQR. TQR never finished the race after P. Point here. TQR. TQR never finished the race after R. They never finished after R, means they finished before R. In this running race, T, Q and U, they have never finished after R. The meaning of this thing is what? They have finished before R, means they are running the race. R is left behind. R is left behind. So they all have finished. So they all have finished not after R, not just below R. They have finished before R. These three people have finished the race. So guys, TQR, so this is already occupied, this is already occupied and this is already occupied. Now, can I have TQU? Where is T, where is Q, where is U, we have no idea. But they all have never finished after R. Means they have finished before R finishes. So this is a position of R directly or indirectly saying. So these all three people have to be above R. So where is this P, where is this T, where is this U, this we have no idea. Where is this T, Q, U, we have no idea. But we have understood that this is a position of R. So now you might be thinking that what is the best way of doing is what two points are left. Have a look here. Fifth point is very logical point. In this fifth point, he told you there are two persons who have finished between Q and R. There are two persons who have finished between Q and R. So you know the place of Q. Sorry, you know the place of R. So can you have Q here? No. Zero people? No. So this is a position of R. This is a position of Q. I believe you have understood there are two people. One, two. Who is here? We have no idea. That will find out shortly. The students, we have understood this and only one point is a finishing point. What did you say here? Fourth point. You finished before P. Before P. Before P. Just try to understand that. If you read on U here, you have not finished the race before P. It is finishing the race after P. So this is wrong. So if you put U here, definitely we can say you finished the race before P. Are you understanding? Now only one person is left. That person is who? Who is that person? I think T is that person. So this is where we are supposed to do it questions guys. Okay, so I think you have got the similar answer. I think you have got the similar answer. So let's try to cross check your answers right now. Who finished the race on the third position? So that is Q. Q finishes the race on the third position. I believe the answer is Bangalore. 
अंडरस्टैंडिंग एवरीबडी गाइस ना लेट्स एड मूव फॉरवर्ड और दूसरे क्वेश्चन में क्या पूछ रहा है हु अमंग द फॉलोइंग फिनिश द रेस एग्जैक्टली आफ्टर पी एग्जैक्टली आफ्टर पी वी हैव नो आईडिया एग्जैक्टली आफ्टर पी इज व्हाट टी नॉट बिफोर पी गाइस आफ्टर पी सो आंसर इज व्हाट टी थर्ड क्वेश्चन देखते हैं क्या बोल रहा है पिक द ऑड मैन आउट सो वी हैव टू कम फ्रॉम ऑप्शंस फर्स्ट ऑप्शन इज क्यूपी Let's try to see what's the relationship between Q P. This is Q, this is P. Okay, this is the order. Q came first, after that P, Q P. Okay, now U S, U S, guys. थोड़ा सा गड़बड़ है, है ना? Order is different. Okay, have a look now. Third one, R V. What is the third one? R V. So this is R V. I think this is the order. Am I right? Last one is what P T. Let's see what is this P T. This is P. This is T. So we have come to know that this is the order. This is the order. This is the order. But this is a different order. Are you understanding? So I think this U and S is the option which is not following. So U S is the best answer. Let's see the last question. Which of the following is uh, correct? We have no idea which is correct. Let's see. Come from options. Q finished on seventh position. Let's see here. Q finished on seventh position. No, it's wrong. I'm right, guys. It's wrong. Next one, sir. Uh, what did say here? T finished first position. T finished first position. No, guys. This is also wrong. I'm right. Let's move forward. Okay. Uh, Pune is on the second position, guys. Pune is on the second position. No, you Amrila is on the second position. चलिए देखते हैं. I don't think so. So I think the last one. R is on the sixth position. Who is on the sixth position, guys? R is on the sixth position. So let's sort of check it out here. R is on the sixth position. I think that this is the best answer. है ना? So isn't it, guys? These kind of questions will also appear. These are order-based arrangements. They may say it's in the form of you know races or something else. Am I right? Chaliye, guys. I believe you all people have got the answer. The best answer is what Delhi. So, with the help of this, I can tell you one thing. We have completed the fourth model of comparison. With the help of this, the last model itself have covered, guys. So, I just want you to practice all these things, guys. If you wanted to learn more, you can just try to download the app which is given in the description. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, guys.